the smell that is get run. <laughs> Been, uh, up to the mountains? This is uh, four. Four for me up in uh, Rio Doso, and then I had one in Alpine, so this is five camps all together for me. What are some of your, uh, your favorite memories so far of the, the camps you've been to so far? Uh, I guess favorite memory probably just, or favorite memories is just, you know, interacting with the team. You know, it's just, uh, I mean, when you're put all put into one hotel room for, uh, you know, eight plus days, you know, you, you get some. Uh, some uh, you get some creativity out of some of the guys, you know, to kind of pass on through the days. But uh, I mean, it's, it's just a great time to uh, you know build that camaraderie and just that chemistry. So that's the, probably my favorite moments. Are the other guys asking you about you know restaurant advice or anything like that? If you if you even get a chance to do that, uh, I I do get a lot of hey, what's uh, you know do we have any off time? Uh, what places are there around uh, Rio Doso? Um, I know a few restaurants, not off the top of my head. Um, I mean, I don't go there, you know, all but once a year. Um, I love the place, though. But uh, yeah, we should get some some downtime. So you know, maybe I might you know give give some of my teammates a few uh, a few restaurant advice. Yes, yeah, that is that is one of them. Uh, I do like that place. I think every year I've been there, I have gone to that place. So I, it's that's a that's a good spot for me. How, how do you see the team grow over the course of the week and a half or two weeks that you're, you're there um, as opposed to just, you know, working out here? What is it about going up there that makes the team kind of gel? Well, I think uh, being over there, I mean, you're so close together. I mean, you're you're rooming with one of your teammates. Um, everybody is uh, here. You know, you got guys that live off campus, live on campus. For me, I live on campus. So there's a lot of guys that I don't see a whole lot of time because they're off campus. Um, but there, I mean, you see everybody. You'll pass through the halls and you'll see, you know, hey, what's up? You know, you'll, you'll see, you'll pretty much see everybody. So that, that's the cool thing about being at camp. How much do you look forward to just the, the competition, particularly, you know, for your, your spot this year? Oh, uh, I always look forward to it. I mean, there's always competition no matter what. And uh, I think this year is going to be something special for us. So. Perfect. Really appreciate the time. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Right, we'll see you up Thank you. Oh, mostly with this. <laughs> Uh, so tell me about just your expectations for the team, how you expect to grow as a team over the next few days. Uh, our expectations going to camp is try to be the best as we can be. We're going to try to push each other so whenever the season comes, uh, it will be much better than last year for sure. What are you expecting in terms of competition, particularly at your position? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm expecting all of our guys to compete, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows where they stand within the uh, coaching staff right now. What have been some of your, your favorite memories from previous camp? Uh, the competition. Uh, it gets pretty heated between the offense and defense because we, we both want to win so bad that we just uh, we compete real hard and it just it, it turns into a fun battle. Now, uh, how much downtime is there? How much time is sp spent you know doing off the field stuff like film study? Do you guys get a chance to enjoy Rio Doso at all? Oh yeah, we, we, we get a chance to enjoy Rizzo. So like we have breaks every now and then. It's not just strictly strictly football, but they also let us uh, have fun and enjoy each other's company. And we also trying to grow as a team and get closer as a team too. So that's part of the uh, plan as as we go to Rio. So down the campus here, does this make it really feel like the season's like officially around the corner? Oh yeah, so we're all fired up about it. We can't wait. Perfect. Thanks. Really appreciate the time. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, so this is your second camp. Mm -hmm. uh, what were your memories from the first time? You're kind of like the veteran now. What are you telling the other guys about camp? It's just a grind. You just got to bring it every day. You just got to – everything's just focused on football. You don't got to worry about school. So it's just a time to get away. 
Does it make it seem now that campus here, like the season is just right around the corner? Yeah, definitely. It's like 28, 29 more days, so it's, it's exciting. How do you see the team grow from day one at camp to the end of camp? I say just, just get a better understanding of the players, get some of these new guys incorporated into the system, and just create a explosive environment. Now that you've been there before, the new guys asking you, like, hey, where should I go eat? What's there to do? That kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot of people are just anxious. I mean, that's how I was last time, just get ready to play football, just play D1. It's a special, special opportunity. Perfect. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good luck. Good luck. All right, so what uh, what made you want to keep this tradition of going up there, up into the mountains for camp? You know, we had an experience with it when I was at Arizona, and we didn't do it the first couple years I was there, and then we did it the last year that I was there, and we just loved it. We loved the unity that it brought, just getting guys sequestered and really focusing on football. How would you say it helps the team gel versus, you know, just – being at home, working out in the usual facilities. Yeah, you know, that's the thing we're trying to create is the unity, you know, and that's so important for our football team right now. And the two things I've been stressing the most are unity and leadership. And I think this brings so much unity. And the story I got to share about that real quick one, Quentin Demps came in last night, came up to my office and said, Quentin, if, I, if you could tell the guys two most important things, messages to send, you've been a lot of different camps, a lot of different coaches, he said unity and leadership. So I said, that's right on. So this really builds the unity. Is this now that camp is here? Does this mark the point where you're like, oh wow, the, the season's right around the <laughs> right around yeah. the corner? You know, gosh, dang, away. it's changed so much now, Trevor. It's like you get 30 days. You know, basically 29 days is what it is. And so before you know, it, we're playing now. So that's why it's so important that we hit the ground running. But you also have to be cognizant that the guys haven't done football, direct football activities lately. And so we got to monitor that a little bit and temper that a little bit and gradually build as we go through camp. So about a couple hours a day of practice. What else is on the schedule in terms of film yeah. study? That yeah, kind of this is a busy, busy day. You know, there's rules that, you know, build your parameters of what you do. But today we're actually getting there. We're going to have a team meeting, eat lunch, have a position meeting, you know, tape, position meeting on the practice field, back in, take a dinner break, back to position meetings, and then a snack tonight in bed, and then back up tomorrow morning, taping at position meetings and on the practice field. So this is a pretty good 24-hour stretch we got coming up. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Appreciate awesome. it. Safe travels. We'll see you up there. Yeah, when are you guys going up? Uh, right now. Oh, no, yeah, you we're going to follow you guys basically. Beautiful. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah.